Hello everyone, Namo Buddhaya. Welcome and greetings to all Dharma friends who are joining today from Indonesia and overseas. Very happy meeting you all in this Dakini day. We are very fortunate to have Tulku Mikmar here with us again to continue the Dharma teaching about how to meditate properly. Please introduce me, Nikki will be your host today and Sister Siska will host the question and answer session. This event is organized by Rangjung Yese Indonesia and Samye Institute. The translation will be available in Chinese, Thai, Portuguese, Ukrainian, Spanish, and of course, Indonesian. In order to enable the translation audio feature, please click the interpretation channel button located on the bottom of the right side of the page. It will allow you to select the language. For those who have question, please write your question in the chat box. The organizer will choose the question to be answered by Tulkula. Now, without further ado, let us invite Tulkula to please start the teaching. Tulkula, we are ready now. Good evening from Nepal and Tashi uh, Delay, everyone. Uh, today, I try to speak in English. Uh, I think we don't have a uh, translator. And uh, I try my best to I lead you for maybe 30 to 40 minutes for how to meditate uh, properly. Uh, first of all, I, will, I would like to request everyone, same uh, as yesterday, uh, whatever we do, any activities of the Dharma, like uh, a study or contemplating or meditation, always as a Mahayana practitioner, uh, our should be our motivation, uh, correct our motivation. If our motivation is first, we have to settle our mind and then we check carefully uh, which uh, category you are in, in your motivation. Uh, they may have like three or four, five, maybe three. First is, motivation to practice for this life. Second, uh, of listening or practicing or contemplating for, for free from the uh, suffering and you like you want to achieve or in life achieve uh, freedom or liberation, uh, only yourself. And this is a second way of motivation to listen or contemplate or practice. And the best, and the best uh, as a Mahayana, a vast motivation or great motivation, which is uh, not only yourself and uh, all sentient beings. You, you want to listen or contemplate or practice because of uh, uh, the, all the sentient beings that they are suffering and cause of suffering, free from their suffering and cause of suffering. And, uh, for a liberation or their happiness. The, that is the uh, that, that is the should be the your motivation uh, as a Mahayana practitioner, and that has a, a meaningful and that has a lot of our qualities and that has a uh, how to say it, uh, your destination or your goal to achieve enlightenment also because of the heart. And whatever you want to do is study or contemplate or practice, uh, whatever practice you do. Also, the result will be very fast because your motivation is always ever great. And this is the, I would like to request everyone 
to generate your motivation. It will not generate. And uh, maybe one minute, please, uh, from bottom of your heart, uh, try to, how to say, uh, meditate on that motivation or meditate on that great, uh, how do we call it? the mind or the motivation. I would like to request everyone. Now, how do you do meditation properly? First of all, uh, why meditation is important and why we are doing meditation, I think is very important. Uh, Many people, there is the meditation, I think uh, usually they have, of course, a lot of methods and uh, the meditation as shamatha. Shamatha also has a, a lot of, uh, uh, how to say, levels uh, of uh, shamathas and uh, outer shamatha, inner shamatha, shamatha with a form, shamatha with a not form. And then, of course, vipassana. Then the Mahamudras, uh, Dzogchen's, uh, also Mahayoga way of meditation, maybe uh, deity or mantras, or syllables, like how you pay attention. There's a lot of methods. And, uh, and uh, those are the like methods, but why we meditation, med meditation is so important and how do we, uh, how to do uh, properly uh, of course, those are the, the methods, but for me right now, uh, many people in the world, uh, why are we doing meditation? Uh, one is definitely in this life, many of these people, because in the past, uh, the physically we are difficult, has been very difficult, like a hospital is not there, not developed. And uh, maybe people has to work hard, and uh, education level is not so developed, and people has to do more physical works, and uh, struggle a lot physically, uh, sufferings in the past. But uh, in the now twenty first century, I think. Uh, that materially or physically, we have uh, not much uh, difficult. Uh, we focus on external thing and we gain a lot and we achieve a lot. Food, uh, education level, medical systems, medical levels, scientists. Actually, externally, we have a lot of uh, advance and uh, advantage uh, right now. But in a, in a terms of the, the mentally right now in 21st century, uh, I think people are, seems mm, the loss or seems we too much focus on externally gain, externally uh, based on the happiness, uh, based on the external things. Therefore, uh, we, much, almost 99 percentage of our mind uh, focus on external things. And therefore, I think we, our mind 
is not being present and not awake, uh, not mindful, we call as not awake. We drawn to the external things like uh, five aggregates, yeah, control the, our mind. Therefore, we have no freedoms, uh, we have no peace, uh, we have no peace and definitely no happiness. Uh, therefore, and now if we say why we are not happy, why we are not satisfied, satisfied, satisfied uh, not contained, and why no, we don't have a peace. Uh, but still, many people in the right now, uh, because of that, we too much focus on external things, uh, uh, physically, uh, wealthy, or uh, uh, whatever we not achieve, uh, we want to achieve, and therefore we try to meditate. Uh, wealthy, wealth, we not achieve it from externally. That's why we mind is not uh, kept, uh, occupied by all these things, external things to control our internal, the, our mind. Therefore, we try to, um, how does it recharge? Because you are, cannot chase uh, because mind not uh, enough capacity and the ability to chase those external things. Therefore, you want to achieve uh, how the running so fast and external things and you want to run same as the external things and your mind has no capi uh, how to say uh, capacity and ability therefore you want to chase like a together but you can't because our minds are controlled by the external things you already 199 is uh, controlled it's almost 100 almost almost and uh, and you want to meditate to to uh, not because of you want happiness but you not enough uh, to chase therefore you have tired and you want to meditate and recharge and you want to chase tomorrow or maybe uh, in the office or uh, or some somewhere in the family or maybe the relationship or somewhere but today is not so going well and tomorrow you want to do well therefore you want to meditate today maybe try to relax or you are too much uh, uh, work hard and uh, maybe physically no much work but in the office uh, uh, mentally uh, you walk extra like a over overflow uh, your brain or your mind Therefore, you try to reduce or try to refresh, and uh, you want because we think is I I don't know maybe I can sleep or not or maybe I can eat or not, and then tomorrow you try to want to have relax and maybe can focus on the work, but so many things like this work or maybe some business or maybe your relationship or maybe. Wealth or maybe happiness, but of course, these all things do you want to uh, do uh, more like uh, faster? How the external things is running, therefore, your mind also want to run. Same thing is speed, like is pity. You want to speed uh, together, and therefore, we meditate. I think most of people in the right now, why is their mindfulness? Uh, the meditation is so popular. I think because of that reason, uh, because right now is the world is too advanced and uh, technology is like uh, uh, becoming uh, developed and becoming so fast. Uh, phones are like a, so, uh, how to say, so many things and 3G, 4G, 5G, so like it's speeding all these things. Definitely, yes, why not? Maybe airplane also maybe faster than before, cars and everything like we want to have fast. And right now all jam in the roads and in the future, I heard that people want to car is like flying, like a helicopter or like plane. People, because no time, like uh, everything occupied, that's why you want to reach faster 
the external things, then definitely your mind also must be sharp and must be uh, fast and uh, quick, because otherwise uh, uh, you won't be uh, get there. When you won't be get there, then you first it, or maybe you will uh, how to say. Anger, angry or frustrated or maybe uh, you think is my not I'm not succeed uh, what other people succeeded and you uh, feel like uh, guilty and uh, so many things there are those negativities uh, all the things will overflows and then you have no peace definitely of course no peace and there is no happiness and therefore people meditate. Uh, first, first thing is meditation. Because of that reason, they meditate. The first one. Second, meditation. Why the people, some people who understand more deeper than those who just only understand this life, uh, then who a uh, second kind of a person who is meditating is uh, more like a, who those little bit study their own mind and the next life or why this life and the next life definitely if you think carefully i think vastly i think the next life is more longer than this life this life is actually is very short very very short you will be some people think yeah my life is uh, pretty long it's like 80 90 or maybe who want to live 100 some people uh, we never know as uh, everything is impermanent. Therefore, uh, three uh, Buddha's student, uh, Buddha was uh, asked, uh, asked, asked to the, uh, his three students, and he asked first uh, uh, student, uh, what is uh, the, the expan of the, uh, our life? And uh, one first student says, oh, maybe 90, 100 years old. And Buddha said, wrong. Really? And then, and then the second, Buddha asked the second student, what do you think uh, our human the, the life, the expense, how long? And the second one says, maybe 60, 70, or 80. Uh, and the second also, Buddha said, uh, your answer also wrong. And this third one, he asked again to the Buddha. The Buddha asked the third one, what do you think? He says maybe 40 to 50. Because the other two already say 90, 80, 70, 60, but he says maybe 30, 40. Buddha says, you're also wrong. And they all ask Buddha, uh, to the Buddha, uh, then how is uh, our uh, human's life span? And Buddha says, uh, until the your breath, breath, is breath breathing is there, uh, breathe is out, you cannot come in. That that much is our life spent. That means our life is not long until the, your breath is there, your life is there, the breath is go out and then emerge into the external uh, air, then cannot come back and our life is spent that much. That how when we never know uncertainty. Uh, therefore, the next life, people who understand maybe next life is very long. And uh, this life, uh, wherever you are, even uh, you don't want to, you is scared for maybe this life, whatever you do good, yeah, definitely you are quite okay. If you have, because our life is the beginning less, we never know. Uh, and uh, you have, kind of fear that when I die or something happen to me, I may go to the three lower ramp. You have that kind of a fear, uh, lower ramp. Now, you think that not only this life, I don't want to go to this three lower, lower ramp uh, because more suffering. I don't want to go there. Therefore, I scare or I have fear to go there, three lower ramp. Therefore, I don't want to go. I don't want to fall in there. What I have to do is, uh, I have to do meditation. Why I'm doing meditation? Because of, I don't want to go down three lower ramp. I want to achieve human or God or demigod, or if not, the best is arahat, the liberation. 
and therefore I'm going to meditate. I think this is uh, better than the, the previous one, the first one. Uh, but of course, if you if you want to start, your mind is not settled, mind is not calm, then definitely we have to do the first one practice. Then you gradually uh, you have to go to the second one understanding. Then some people does meditation, uh, uh, whatever shamatha or vipassana or mahamudra or dzogchen. Then uh, the third is more like a, uh, third is I think why we may, people uh, meditate. Uh, they know their suffering, their own self experience, and uh, they actually their experiences, but they understand the other suffering as well, all the sentient being. Uh, right now, you don't have uh, the cap capacity and ability to bring all the sentient being who suffering to uh, liberation or enlightenment. Uh, therefore, you must, achieve, you must achieve first to enlightenment uh, because when you enlighten, then uh, you have capacity and the ability to bring all sentient beings to the liberation or enlightenment. But you must have that kind of a intention first. Then how to achieve yourself first to uh, liberation and enlightenment or enlightenment, uh, Buddhahood. Uh, how to achieve? Then only one, you have uh, one uh, thing that can bring you to enlightenment. That is meditation. Either this life, you want to be happy, definitely you have to meditate. Your mind, because external achieve you some happiness or like a, or um, unconditioned kind of a happiness. The only can bring you through the meditation. And the second I mentioned is to achieve even not to go to the lower ramp, and you want to achieve some three good ramps to rebirth. Also, you must meditate. Without meditation, you won't be achieved. Uh, then the now, you want to bring all sentient beings to enlightenment, also must, uh, must practice meditation. And uh, meditation uh, has uh, so many levels. I mentioned uh, shamatha, vipassana, and uh, Mahamudra, uh, Dokshin, uh, also some uh, practice to the syllable. Uh, you focus on the syllable. Today, I just want to go, uh, how to say, Shamada. I think that uh, because first our mind is not settled. Our mind is like a, a kind of a horse, like a which is uh, wild horse or wild cow or wild elephant in our mind right now. Therefore, you have to think first or relax. You have to bring your mind to become those, those the wild or those crazy or like roller coaster. Your mind is totally occupied by external things. Therefore, you have no freedom. You have no rest. You have no peace. Therefore, you have to settle first your mind, uh, abide your mind first. Uh, therefore, the best the method is uh, the settle. Or like, like I give you one metaphor. Let's say the water, the uh, how to say, uh, it's like in the ground, ground, big water, it flows. Uh, so vastly, vastly flows. And this is how our mind is like outside. Now the shamatha means uh, when you practice the shamatha, you have this all the whole water, the flat water, go into like pipe, one pipe. Uh, water is same, the pipe, but not vast. The pipe goes to very small, tiny one, one only. Therefore shamatha is like a focus into you have like mind thought is like a hundred or thousand 
Now all the thousands or hundreds of your thoughts or your uh, emotions and all these uh, bring into the inside the one small pipe. Only one thought. But it's still thought, the concept, but, but one concept, no many concepts or many thoughts. Because you're bringing inside the one pipe. It's one point, and one focus, and one uh, abide, peace. And then you have more um, space in your mind. Because right now is occupied, all these spaces like a water, big water. And also, uh, because uh, in one metaphor is why important shamatha is, uh, you know, in the nomad, in the uh, Tibet, the nomad, so many uh, cows and sheep and uh, yaks, and if you bring in, they, they, you want to bring them to have a grass and uh, you you have to leave them where they are and don't bring the left side chase them and right side chase and back side like don't chase wherever they're eating just leave it as is then they will eat relax their mind is relaxed body is relaxed at that wherever the present they're eating grass they will enjoy and they have a peace with the eating because one only they are uh, being there <coughs> Similar that the shamada it brings our mind first come because right now left right everywhere you are running therefore you are not settling uh, no you are not resting therefore not enjoying the present moment because you keep up uh, everything and you fall into the all uh, form sound smell taste and sensation to the, your body everything external actually the uh, uh, we have, this is the like present where you are. But then other things, your mind actually goes to past and the future, even you bringing, ruling the future, the, uh, the past also you bringing and the future also you bringing and mix up with present, past, future, everything. But the present actually is only five aggregates. The senses, if you are uh, whatever seeing, whatever hearing, whatever smelling, if you are those con uh, concepts, those thoughts, or those consciousness, if you being in the present, the all everything in the one and focusing one, I think you may have 80% or 90% of your mind is become peace because the five senses uh, you are bringing into one point and settling there, resting there. And then that moment, you know, need to think about the past or future because you're already being in the present. Present is this, whatever you see, whatever, and you have not thought others past or future. That means you're being present. But present with, with uh, not judgment. Uh, actually, the, the uh, emotion is how the emotion, how to call manifest our uh, concept or thoughts manifest. There's the two. Uh, three reasons, uh, three reasons to uh, manifest our thoughts, either past or future, or mostly in the present also we manifest. Uh, they call emotion. Uh, first is actually called emotion. Uh, second is called you'll never, never, means the, the object, the form, whatever in the object of outside, like form, sound, whatever in outside uh, is there. The second, the third is called you'll, uh, whatever the externally there, we call it dota, means you fabricate it or you judge it. Because if there's a form, sound, and the smell and everything there, if you don't, we call dota, or you don't judge, or you don't fabricate, actually not, be, you are uh, not manifest your emotion, or you won't be judged like, form is there, then what do you do, your con consciousness or your mind, say good or bad or neutral, then these three judgment, like, like, dislike and neutral, and these three is become like uh, attachment, dislike, anger, then neutral, you don't know uh, good or bad, and it's ignorance, then three poisons, uh, 
secrets and three poison you build up or three poison uh, become a, uh, a react and then of course you're not happy and uh, whatever you are uh, good you attach then you want more and if not good dislike then yes you anger then become react and uh, you you how to call it's kind of a you already kind of a be love and then you project again and again and again and then manifest 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 and therefore shamada uh, the right now i'm what i want to say is shamada is actually bringing all these the three the, what uh, fabricating and just judging to external things and uh, bring into the one the concept the thought or or focus and that is a shamada is a uh, we call it shamada we means not moving because right now our mind is moving everywhere uh, it's like uh, i mentioned uh, just now it's like um, all the wild cows which you, you while cow with the tie with the mindfulness the string and to where you tie the pillar of awareness you put the string to the pillar of awareness with the, your wild uh, cow the mindful focus on the object of that uh, that pillar then the mindfulness is yeah there you tie then you, you, the wild uh, uh, cow doesn't move and that shamada has actually called uh, mindfulness has a uh, nine uh, steps of the uh, mindfulness uh, practice uh, uh, we call it a uh, mindfulness or sometimes shine or uh, shamada but in the uh, not need to do all of them nine the first three is very important uh, very very important the other six are not so important because already inside in three is the most important and the first one uh, we call uh, jo means rest or still peacefully and the rest and second is called uh, yunjo means like a continuously uh, rest and the third is called we call as a uh, nirjo means uh, when you continuously rest of course you won't be rest maybe sometimes one minute or two minutes immediately your mind uh, how to say because we have uh, not familiar yet therefore our familiar with the other things and the beginning less until now uh, our habitual tendency is so uh, how to go strong therefore you won't be rest maybe more than i think the beginner is maybe a few seconds immediately you lost uh, the connection uh, uh, then uh, we call it uh, we call repeatedly rest means you rest respect and uh, first one we call rest i mentioned just now the the example all the nomad people you wherever the yaks and animals they staying present wherever they eating grass let just be there don't chase right and left just rest let them rest means our mind we need have a object first i think the breathing is important or some people put the buddhas if you are a religious person you are buddhist then you can put buddhas image uh, or if not then you can uh, object uh, you can focus on the, your breath breathe because the breath everyone breathes but most of us actually sometimes uh, we forget even our breathing or not and these days maybe i think people try to uh how to call uh, mindful or maybe knows because the covid sometimes breathing is quite you smell or not i think people try to remember 
Uh, otherwise, most of us focus on everything and external things, even if you're breathing or not, you don't know. Therefore, you focus, uh, you first you check breathing or not. If you are breathing, then first I mentioned rest. Rest, how, how you put your mind into the breath. And some people say, how do I the mind? How do I hold and how do I put? It's like, not like cup putting on the plate or on the table, not like that. Therefore, how you just pretend, like uh, try to, uh, your, whatever the, I think first of all, you need to, where you're sitting, the, the, the cushion and your body on the cushion. Then try to your mind, try to stay in the body. Try the body, then the body slowly you sense, then you try to think or try to see you're breathing or not. If you know that I'm breathing, that is mindful, that is awareness of your breath. And you have to do is you know, two times like breathe out, breathe in, you count one. Not long, maybe seven times or like 14 times or 21 times. Like together okay. that means you're resting first your mind resting on the breathing up in out one in out two like that you count like a seven times no long then for a while actually your mind will totally disconnect like that breath totally you will lost but when you lost uh, don't worry some some people worry about the losing losing some people worry about when you meditate focusing on the breath then the thought arises so many things actually you will see a lot of a lot of things is like a movie it's like past things future things you will see clearly and people give up because when you do that, people give up and then they try to go uh, read um, other things like uh, uh, maybe chant mantras or maybe uh, do some uh, other things like uh, visualizations. Because you say, I, I do Shamada, but so much thought is coming, but I don't want to do that. I want to chant more mantras. Actually, not. You shouldn't give up. It's uh, wrong. Uh, the first, whenever you these thoughts are rising, uh, you seeing, actually it's good result. Before, also then, before you meditate, there is a thought a lot because you are not seeing, you're not uh, recognizing those thoughts. Because we, how do you recognize? Because you are totally, your mind in, uh, in external thing, it, uh, to the external uh, occupy or maybe controlling how you will realize or you how you see. Therefore, you don't give up. That's it. It's like there's a past on the long, long time ago, there's a medit one meditator and he was meditating uh, like a shamata, one pointly with the object. Okay. Uh, then suddenly he remembered. He remembered that he was a borrow. He ran, ran or he borrowed to one of his, uh, like Tibetan, we have a horse, there's a two bags. And that actually he ran to someone, uh, borrow someone. But then he, before he forgot, forget. But then right now he remembered that when he meditate. And he thinks, oh, I remember actually I um, borrow this to this guy, this person. Now I remember, oh, this Shamata meditation is so good. I remember now. Uh, before I forget, but now because of meditation, I remember. And then he keep telling people that meditation really helps a lot because uh, my uh, uh, memory is coming back clear and so good. And therefore he uh, liked the meditation. Like it's like that, it's keep everything coming. It's actually good, but not bad. And people give up. But then you have to tell yourself, I'm a beginner or this thought is coming uh, right now. I'm just beginning. Slowly, I will gradually I practice, and I will slowly by slowly I will everything like actually is like a 
uh, I mentioned it's like wild animal. If you want to tame their wild animal, it takes time, you know. First horse is like jumping here and there. Slowly you train, 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 train. Then become a calm. You can ride. You won't be jump. It's similar that our mind now is jumping, keep jumping. Slowly it takes time and be patient and slowly, slowly like breathing. One day, maybe a few minutes, no need to do like a lot. And uh, see it. And then with these three, I say rest with the object, or object, so many objects, form, rest, or maybe not object, uh, mind object also can. Or like that, another so many objects. Rest, and mind keep running here, there. And they try to continue, try to continue the rest. You can, cannot continue, definitely can, can't. But you thought arise, you go back to the rest first one. Again, continue rest. That means go back is repeatedly rest. Means you rest on the breathing. If you do this three, um, uh, how to go alternately? Uh, this is like a one session. You have to do this uh, twenty one times. These three things like repeat and again and again go back, come back, go back, come back. It will really helps. Don't give up. And uh, this is a how you can meditate. The shamada is important. But now, how to do properly? And that's actually the first, uh, when you do meditation, before you do meditation, you have to sit properly, your body. It's like a, we call as a seven beruchana postures. Very important. You have to sit your leg properly bajra posture and the US spine that street and your hand and like this and shoulder a little bit is like abroad or like like ego and your this cheek little bit bent is like hook and your eyes either you look it to the um, uh, in front of you, whatever the object, or you just look below four fingers down. If you're looking at the object, then sometimes you put level of your eyes. And if you too are wondering your mind, then you little bit look down. And this is the, your preparation of, actually it's called Shamada meditation of your body. This you properly you see. And that is the, the physically how to prepare for meditation. And uh, again, this uh, the physical, but other things I would like to share. Let's say you want to really want to do five or 10 minutes meditation. Then what you have to do is preparation. We call mondo or preparation of the shamada meditation. Whatever you have activities. If you are boiling on the kitchen, something water, try to stop it or your phone, something, mobile phone or something coming or time, just leave it somewhere, don't put together. Or you want to do something, whatever you have, something to do, everything put in the side. And these five minutes is just, your body is meditation, your uh, breath is meditating, meditation, your mind is also meditation. Basically, body, mind, speech, all three. If you want to have something to talk with some people, or everything now, leave it aside. These five or 10 minutes is speech, just silent, no speech. And the thirdly, your mind, again, same thing. You have something to walk, remember or something to say or something to think or not. Just leave it side, your body wherever in the you are here, the question, body, and mind inside the body, present, whatever object or breathing, you focus that. And this body, the speech, then meditation preparation is then we call is an exhale and inhale. It's like a that is outside, 
strong, breathe out all the negativity of mind and uh, you are inside the sickness and everything out. Flow in all the goodness and all the blessings and everything go in again. Like this, three times, left three times, both together three times, like out in, out in, three, three times, like nine times. And this is a speech kind of preparation or meditation. Then mind uh, meditation, I mentioned, this is the, how the technique you have to apply. But before that, and uh, you have to think, oh, uh, now my mind is uh, so much uh, wandering here and there and not uh, calm and no peace and no relaxing or no resting. Oh, now I want to rest. I want to relax. My mind want to a uh, little bit one piece and uh, you should think that kind of a motivation before you're going to start not like immediately to, and sitting it won't be uh, settled or relax your mind of course you have to think that way oh today i want to do really meditation i want to really i don't want to think other things whatever and uh, just not plan it or something something just leave it outside then you just come back and just like that, or maybe body, wherever they're sitting in the present. And mind, which is you think that kind of a preparation, you have to apply that kind of preparation mind. Then first thing, the object, wherever is some kind of form or breathing, you check I'm breathing or not. You breathing? Yes. That means you are awaiting the breathing. Then you just rest it. Sound comes. See something. Or smell something. Taste inside your mouth of something. Everything. But just breathing only here, the present. Don't go to form. Don't go to sound. Don't go to taste or sensation. Just breathing only. You uh, recognizing or you seeing or you are aware of that and then just don't forget that the present you are breathing and just continue rest and this is actually the the meditation you after you breathing you you can uh, do or there's many choices this is just the, in general whoever can do that way but if you are buddhist or you're a practitioner, you want to do some of this kind of uh, shamatha meditation, then I say, uh, first, uh, the, the anapana, we call it the exhale, inhale, the before going to meditation, and uh, you can have a supplication, and do some supplication to your gurus, uh, your lineage gurus, or your own root gurus, you supplicate. Then after supplicate, the first, uh, Anapana, or then you supplicate or take refuge. Same thing, supplication and refuge. And the number third is then the, the bodhicitta. I mentioned the meditation is not important for me. Your motivation to do meditation is depends actually how much you your meditation uh, the, the meditation can helps you or not. Depends on the motivation. If you, I mentioned, you, if you're doing meditation just for like this life, I thought this life will benefit, definitely benefit, definitely will help you to healthier and more, uh, how to go uh, succeed, success in your life, maybe many ways, many things. I mentioned the person who forget to someone he want to, he borrow, but he forget when meditate, he remember. I mean, that helps him to get all his thing back and helps you these kind of things. But long-term, this not really helps you. Next life, no, in life, no. Yeah, therefore you see which one is more uh, you want or which one is more benefit, which one is more meaningful. Then you check, the motivation is important. Then I mentioned motivation, second or third. Yes, I want to do meditation today because I have no capacity and ability to bring all things enlightenment but i have to meditate to fast as much as quick 
to enlighten or liberate, then I can able to bring all sentient being to a fast. Therefore, I have to meditate. Without meditation, I wouldn't be enlightened. Therefore, I'm going to do this because of that kind of a uh, reason I want to meditate. And this brings you how meditation is beneficial. Actually, it depends on your motivation. Then your motivation is important. The third one, motivation, or either now I cannot say who you want to do, or it depends on an individual. And then the motivation, the number four. Then you do number fifth meditation. The shamatha I mentioned, the breathing, uh, rest, present moment, and the continually rest, and repeat the uh, rest. These three, you can alternate and rest on base uh, to the breathing or object. After you finish, how much, how, how long you want to do? Five minutes, 10 minutes? You just pay attention, abide or stillness to that object, meditate. Uh, after you finish that and number six, then do dedication. I think dedication also very important because dedication is the save uh, our uh, merits and our uh, how to call the, the, the meditations, whatever you do, accumulate. This dedication is the one who saves or who um, keep until enlightenment, until not enlightened. It's your, all the, whatever you accumulated, the, the emptiness or meditation or focus or stillness or the peace or happiness, all actually inside the light bank is the, because of the uh, dedication. I think this is a, how you then become like proper meditation. If you don't go through this way, then it won't be become like a proper meditation. But the, for me, it's proper means, of course, if you do with the, for sake of all sentient being, you're doing meditation, that is the best way. If not, but it's gradually first step, second and third, you want to do that way and also good actually it's not wrong because our mind is not ready yet therefore we have to first we have to train a little bit it's not jumping relax then slowly slowly you can train and you can um, succeed uh, or what uh, how to go for enlightenment, for all the sentient being, then you have capacity and understand uh, the ability. Then definitely, yes, why not? Therefore, before you have to build up. Therefore, I think meditation, I don't know today we should do meditation or not, but I, everyone can uh, uh, maybe try. I think one or two minutes, I would like to request um, everyone to uh, just experience it, experience, like what I mentioned, you are breathing or not, or your mind is present or not. Try to, um, how to say, uh, recognize it yourself. And maybe try to be uh, as a, the present. And let me know after that we have a question answer, maybe how you feel and uh, your mind is, not in prison, or your mind is wandering, or your mind is really settling and resting. Maybe check five minutes, uh, one minute. I would like to do everyone together. First of all, everyone, please, I say, put aside all the forms and whatever you just leave it and don't look here, there. And mine also don't look here, there, and don't talk to next to you, maybe someone is talking to you and maybe just stop that and try to be yourself. Uh, nothing else like everyone put in the side, walk, family and uh, talking business, everything and maybe just be yourself with silence, be yourself with breathing and nothing else. Okay, one minute.
okay. Mm. This is, uh, I think, short, maybe Shamata. <laughs> I don't know, this is a proper meditation not, but uh, it's, it's more like uh, uh, how you can do. I, I definitely, you all know, this is like very basic uh, meditation. Uh, but it's very important also, Shamata. It's more like a, we call change. It's more like a, a fabrication. Actually, fabrication, but fabrication is with not a lot, not so much thoughts. It's more like a fabricate with a conceptual meditation. I would say conceptual meditation. More like, but concept, we have uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of thoughts, but it brings to one thought. But it's still concept with object and but very calm but relaxedly and uh, you have like if you have a hundred thoughts it reduce like 99 thoughts and you have a one thought concept conceptual meditation and non-conceptual meditation is this, there's two this is more like conceptual meditation then you can go to the second step non-conceptual meditation the emptiness but this is very important shamatha actually if you want to go uh, shamatha meditation, shamatha uh, is helps to emptiness. Because without the shamatha uh, stabilize the stability of your mind, then the vivashana is very difficult. Because why? The, the water, it won't be calm and you won't be see the clear, uh, the project, uh, no, a reflection of the moon. The reflection of, to able to see reflection of moon through the pond, the water, first the water should be calm, abide, relax, because otherwise if you shaky, you won't see moon clear. The vibhashana is to able to see your nature of mind because shamada, there's no shamada based and you won't see the vibhashana of the moon a reflection. Therefore, the shamada is very important. Uh, okay, this is the uh, today's uh, meditations, uh, how to do proper meditations uh, session. Now I would like to open for question and answer a little bit. Okay, Tulkula, thank you for the teaching. Now we uh, in the question and answer session. Uh, so there are three questions. The first questions will be how do we practice shamatha and vipassana meditation? Uh, number two is. We visualize the mandala before dissolving to emptiness to help rest in the natural stage. Is this a touch? Uh, and then uh, question number three is, motivation is important in meditation. How do we introduce motivation for meditation to non-Buddhists? Uh, oh, okay, okay Tukula, yeah. Please yes, answer. The, uh, the first one, how do we practice Samadha and Vipassana meditation? Actually, I mentioned just now, but more I mentioned the Shamatha. Vipassana, I not mentioned so much. The Shamatha, what I mentioned, the practice is, I say, uh, uh, not moving of your mind, focus one only to object, uh, so many objects like breathing today, what I did, that is actually shamatha meditation. Vipassana not come yet, maybe slowly. And uh, that is the first question uh, answer. Second is, is visualize the mandala before dissolving to emptiness to help rest in the nature state. Is this a group? group? 
a crutch maybe uh just like a help oh latin help yeah. uh, yes yes we visualize the mandala before dissolving to emptiness definitely yes yes first and in, then, the, uh, in the uh, in the development is stage and accomplishment is stage first comes the development is stage which is uh, clarity then dissolve into emptiness is then becoming like a uh, 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 how to say the like a like a um, uh, sutra way is like form is empty empty is form like this two actually is non -sep uh, not separate is a unity it helps to it helps to because this two is mandala is more like a Deployment is stage, and the emptiness is the accomplishment is stage. This two is definitely unity is not not like not separate. But the mandala dissolve means uh, dissolve means is you cannot have uh, only mandala and then of course is a uh, appearance. But appearance there is no uh, substantial appearance or uh, not kind of existing appearance. Uh, appearance itself is actually emptiness. But it, this two unity, not separately, if you recognize, without, uh, without uh, how, how to call it, uh, nihilism and anal, anal, what are called, eternalism, not stuck, empty or form. This two is empty, is form, form is empty, uh, uni. Uh, Unitily, uni unitedly, you will recognize, and that is actually nature of that natural state. Understand? Okay, uh, that's the second question. Third is motivation is important in meditation. How do we introduce motivation for med meditation to non Buddhists? Uh, yeah, I think. This is uh, true, but beginning, uh, what I mentioned today uh, is depends on uh, your, if you have a problem right now, of course, your motivation should be now to solve problem rather than the long term. If you don't solve now, I, I give you one example. I want to do help all sentient being right now. Uh, actually, good motivation, but good try, <laughs> But it's not make sense because right now you have a two parents. Sometimes we can't help them. <laughs> how to help all sentient being? No possible. Therefore, how do you start? Yes, you should be motivation small. Doesn't matter. You help now, current your parents. Example: You help after you help, then you know that oh, I have capacity. I have ability to help others as well. Therefore, motivation small, but is um, uh, how to call it, the long-term benefits. Uh, you can teach it very, uh, how to call, um, skillful way to introduce motivation to the non-Buddhists, okay? And now, how do we meditate when we are tired? Uh, that's true, myself as well. Uh, when you're tired, the meditation it's a little, little bit difficult, but I think physically sitting is difficult, but mentally, uh, actually the meditation meaning is not doing anything in your mind. That is the meditation. But that's why we call it gomba. Gomba, gomba, miso, gomba, zo. Means meditation is not important. It's a familiarity is important. Familiarization is important. That means you even sleeping, sleeping, or you are in the bed, but your mind familiar with the, your present moment. That you no need to put so much effort. Just relax, rest, uh, as e, wherever you are. Don't fabricate, don't judge, and be as e. I think that is a, even you're tired. You can do it anyway. I think the the more more um, easy than uh, you are walking. Walking is so difficult. You have to ride car, taxi, bus, 
you have to go destination you have to uh, you have to face with uh, so many people boss your colleagues and also family but meditation just sit down and just don't think because right now we thinking is we are we have so many so many um, uh, existings and uh, so many fabrications now you don't think means that antidote is emptiness just don't think that's it okay when we are close to people with a strong negative emotion they always have their own judgment how do we we deal with this <laughs> when we are close to people with a strong negative emotion they always have their own judgment how do i think best is don't deal don't take it as a personal whatever they is strong or not how you know if they they are doing that they know i think it depends on other panjuru which has one word i think last time if you are judging for other people judging yourself means don't judge how do we deal with this i think for me is dealing means you are putting so much effort even meditation i want to do meditate like a put so much uh, effort i think you made higher just just as it just relax ha ah, like this whatever people say negativity uh, emotions and negative people around you judgment people around you you don't judge you don't i think the dealing is more like a you are really putting more effort than they are therefore just don't bother uh for me i i i like to say uh, relax and react don't react first and i'll after you relax i think too late <laughs> okay <laughs> okay Uh, Oke, okay, Tukula. I think uh, the Tukula, thank you already answer the questions. Yes. Uh, I think ah uh, uh, that's it the questions, Tukula. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And then maybe we can uh, do dedication close. and then yeah we close the teaching today. Okay. I think more meditate, uh, less judge, less deal, more meditate. Okay, Tukula, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I would like to just uh, want to do dedication. Yes. Today's uh, our listening and my sharing, we will dedicate to all sentient beings. So now they come to see by the main event on a continent. You got my team. I love to be so learned to wonder what are you sure? John, you seem to remember to my people. I keep it in the band. But going and going to build what are you sure? The match is in the number of the body. You wish you were in the middle of the argument by the body. You didn't have a large.